Tonight, de detectives are probing the brutal murder and dismembering of a 20-year-old woman in Roy Sambu, are holding three suspects. The three are said to fit the description of the man spotted on CCTV booking the rental apartment in Roy Sambu. One of the suspects was intercepted at the JKIA as he planned to fly out of the country. Our NTV's Brian Obuya has been on that story and now reports that the woman and her killer met on Instagram and had met for some sexual escapade at the Rosambo apartment before her murder. Police have established that the mobile phone number used to book the rental apartment was in Ruaka at least four days before the killing. The three are currently being treated as persons of interest into the murder of the 20-year-old woman along TRM Drive in Roisambu. Police have been grilling them for several hours and they have just stopped that process to begin forensic analysis of uh, different aspects of the investigation, including fingerprint analysis and what have you. Police say they can't really speak to the effect that these are the people who are connected in one way or another, but they are currently looking for clues and leads that could establish uh, the same. So they are calling them persons of interest. Interesting to note is that one of these persons was arrested at the airport when he was just about to fly out of the country and uh, is among the three currently being held here at the Kasorani police station. Police have since established that the murder uh, rather, the murderer of the 20-year-old girl had been staying in Raqqa for several days. This they did by triangulating the mobile phone number that was used to book for the short-term rental apartment in Roisambu. They have triangulated that number and established that it was in Ruaka where it has been for a couple of days and they'll be seeking to find out from residents there maybe the people who are using the same cell tower to see if they are able to say a thing or two about the suspect police are currently looking for. So that is the much we can report as at now but we do not really know if police will be seeking custodial orders to keep detaining them here or if by end of day tomorrow they would have had a clue, one or two into the gruesome murder of the 20-year-old woman whose head is yet to be retrieved and her body is currently lying at the city mortuary. The lady's family has been asked by police to uh, remain low-key for now because they can't really say that that was their kin when the woman's head is still missing and forensic examination, forensic analysis is yet to be completed as part of the investigation.